Well, next time you buy a coffee, you might consider leaving behind more than just a tip for the barista. The suspended coffee movement has reached Brisbane and Casey Fung explains how it gives the homeless more than just a caffeine hit. For most of us, coffee is a daily habit, but for those living rough, it's a rare treat. Um, it gets cold in my time. <laughs> Yeah, the coffee that, 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 that is warm shop. A movement called Suspended Coffee is quickly spreading through Brisbane cafes and some are using it to provide a lift to those in need. Basically buy a coffee and suspend that in advance for someone uh, that's homeless. Loading Dock Espresso in South Brisbane is one cafe that collects coffee vouchers to pass on to a nearby charity. The vouchers are then given out the next day. I sit down having a coffee. Yes, that would have felt good. Surely it has to contribute to the sense of self-worth and the sense of belonging within a community that's inclusive. But the movement isn't stopping at coffee. So we've just started muffins last week. Um, yeah, and who knows where we could go from there. While food and coffee helps on a day-to-day -day basis, advocates say the big issue is the 20,000 homeless people in Queensland, a quarter of which are children. And Ipswich Mayor Paul Pasali was hard to miss, wearing bright, spotty PJs in Bowen Hills to highlight their plight to morning commuters. Good morning. How are you? Next month, CEOs will be sleeping on the streets, raising money for the homeless. What makes a great state is how we show care and compassion. That's what it's all about. An issue which he says must be overcome. Casey Form, 10 News.